in the topic of search and rescue today we talk about the search and rescue helicopter highline technique so in certain weather conditions uh, it may not be possible to winch the helicopter winchman or the strop which is the rescue harness from a position directly above a vessel to the vessel stack under such circumstances a weighted rope extension to the winch wire may be lowered to the vessel this extension is known as a high line heaving in line and is connected via a weak link to the aircraft's winch hook when the high line technique is used once the weighted line is placed on the deck one crew member must handle the line he should take up the slack on the high line and haul in only when instructed to do so by the helicopter crew by a radio message or a hand signal the high line must not be secured to any part of the vessel at any point of time a second crew member should coil the slack line into a bucket or similar container clear of obstructions it is advisable for the handling crew to wear protective gloves to prevent any kind of rope burns if the helicopter has to break away during the operation the line must be paid out or if necessary released completely ensuring that the line passes clear outboard as the high line is paid out the helicopter will move to one side of the vessel and commence descending normally the winchman will be winched out the ship's crew should continue to take in the slack at the meantime as the winchman or strop approach the vessel the earthing lead or hook must make contact with the vessel to discharge the static electricity before the vessel's crew make contact with the wire considerable effort may be needed when pulling the winchman on board once the casualty has been secured in the strop the winchman if he is present or a member of the vessel's crew should indicate that all is ready by making a hand signal the helicopter will commence to winch in the wire as this occurs a crew member should pay out the high line maintaining sufficient firmness to prevent any swing if the operation involves a single recovery the high line should be released once the end is reached if further winching is required to take place then the crew members should maintain a hold on the high line and repeat the process for the next lift if multiple lifts are required two stops may be delivered with the hook and it is required that a casualty is placed into both stops in the normal manner